So the next thing I want to do is I want to go over testing and grading. And I suspect this is a part of the MP that will interest quite a few of you. All right, so uh, where are the test cases and how does this actually work? So over here on the left, I'm in the project view. Uh, you'll see that I have, uh, this allows me to browse all the code that's in uh, this uh, repository. And over here, you'll see in the test folder, um, there are some Java files. And so let's open up one of them. So this is called mp0test.java. And as its name implies, this is the test code for the first checkpoint for mp0. Um, now there is a quite a bit of text up here that I'm not going to read, but broadly speaking, we divide our tests for each checkpoint into two different categories. There are what are called unit tests that will typically test like a single method or some isolated piece of functionality in your system. Then there is a type of test called integration tests. Integration tests are bigger and they test like how the entire app works together. An integration test might also test things about the display, like what's being shown. It is designed to mimic things that might uh, be similar to how a user would interact with the app. So if a user clicks on something, does the right thing happen, for example. Now, um, one of the things that we've done here is again, we've tried to comment things very carefully. Um, the way that you'll work through the different MP checkpoints is for every MP checkpoint, you'll get a new test suite. You'll uh, copy those tests into your Android Studio, um, and then you'll set things up to run them. And then you'll work one test at a time forward, adding the functionality that you need to complete the project, right? So that's really how we do things here. We work test case from, to test case. Now, as we go along um, and as we hand out more uh, testing code for later checkpoints, I want you to notice that not every test is graded. Uh, so first of all, if you go up here into this run configuration, let's actually run these tests and see what happens. So I'm gonna run, this is called a run configuration. It's a particular task that I can execute. I hit the play button here and I'm starting up this test MP0 task. And what this is going to do, as the name implies, it's gonna run the MP0 test suites. Now, these may take a few minutes to run, particularly the first time you run them. The first time you run them, there's a pretty big download that takes place, and that can actually hang, too. So if you're having trouble with this, particularly if you're overseas or you're not a very slow internet connection, uh, let's talk about it. There are some workarounds. Um, so what you're seeing is that you're seeing there are tests that run. Um, and you'll see over here, the green check mark indicates the test succeeded. The red, in either a red or a yellow uh, mark, indicates it failed. And you'll see that there are already four tests here that succeeded. These are not graded tests. In fact, these are tests that I wrote when I was writing MP0 because I write tests frequently before I actually write the code so that I can make sure that things are correct. Testing is not something that we do just to grade your code. It is something that's done throughout industry and is a core part of software development. Um, and so on the test suites that we'll hand out for later checkpoints, there may be a mixture of tests that are there to help you with your development and tests that are graded. How can you tell the difference? The graded tests have this uh, annotation here that says graded and then has a number of points. For this particular checkpoint, there are four ungraded tests and one graded test and the graded test is worth 90 points. Um, you also get 10 points for not having any problems with check style. Um, and you know, you'll see errors about check style in the console and you'll be able to fix them. Um, Okay, so again, there's a lot of explanation here about how things work, uh, but if I go over here and I look at the failing test, this is log information generated by the, uh, by the uh, program as it ran, and then it says main activity has wrong title. And really should say has the wrong title, right? Uh, that's okay, has wrong title. That is because this test failed. And if you look at what this test is, checking, it's checking that it runs the main activity, and then it wants to make sure the main activity title is find restaurants. We just looked at some of the main act activity code together, and we looked at the on create method, which is called when the activity starts. That's where the title gets set. So your initial challenge here, which is not a huge one, is to fix that. Once you do that, you will get full credit on this particular uh, part of the MP. Now, when you're working on an MP checkpoint, I suggest you run the test suites. Okay. You do that by hitting test MP0. When we give you test suites for MP1, we'll show you how to add another configuration for those test suites. You can also run test MP1.
right? And then test MP2, and then test MP3, and then you're done. Um, so that's how you can do it. There is also a grade task here. Now, let's run the grade task. What's going to happen when I run the grade task? Well, the grade task does some other things. This is actually what happens when you submit your code for official grading, is that we run the grade task. We run the test suites during grading that we give to you during development. This is not, some of the later courses have hidden tests that they don't tell you about, that they run, that they never show you. We don't do that. We're transparent about this. The tests that you have are the tests that we run. That's true for this checkpoint and for all the other checkpoints. So your score as reported here should be the same as the score you see when you submit for official grading, which we'll describe in a later video. So right now my score is zero. Uh, and there's, that's because I failed this uh, test, test activity title. Um, and then I also have a check style error. Let's talk a little bit about how to, how to identify those check style errors. So there's another task that we provided that's called lint. Lint is going to run check style. It's first going to run a formatting tool that's going to reformat your code properly. So that's kind of nice. And then it's going to run check style. Uh, and what's interesting is that it doesn't, oh, you know what? It fixed the problem for me. So sometimes what happens is the formatter will fix the problem. The, I did have a check style error. Now let's run the grader again and you'll see that that check style error should be gone. Um, the error I had was due to an import that I wasn't using, but the formatting tool that we provided for you automatically removed that import and so check style succeed, right? So now when I run this, I'll expect that I will earn 10 points. Now again, if I committed my work right now and, and submitted it for official grading, and we'll describe how to do that in a minute, I would expect to get 10 points from the official grader. Um, and you know that's what I would expect to see. But one thing I wanna make very, very clear, the grade that you see here is not official. When you run the grade task locally, that is not what it, what it requires to submit your code. This is only an estimate and it doesn't count for anything. You have to submit your changes to the MP in a way that we're about to describe. Uh, you have to, if you don't do that, you don't get credit. Um, so running the grade task does not submit your code. That's a separate process. We'll walk through how to do that. Um, the test suites that we provide, we will try to make them as helpful as possible. There are some places where the error messages may not be super useful, but you know what? That's one of the things that you're gonna learn as part of doing the MP is how to deal with things like that, right? But we will try to make these test cases as useful to you as possible. Um, and if you have any questions about what's going on in this code, this is code that you can talk about with the staff. It's code that you can ask about in the forum. You can cut and paste right in there and we'll say, okay, here's what's happening. Here's what this is doing. You can talk about it with other students. There's no plagiarizing, trying to understand what the test suites are doing. And it's actually a really useful thing to do. Uh, and we'll keep coming back to these in later videos as we show you how to solve each part of the MP. All right, so in this video, we've talked about uh, testing. We'll look at the test suites together. Um, we talked about grading. We talked about check style and how you can reformat your code automatically. Um, and now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna submit our code for official grading and talk about that process.